Hey everybody, one of my friends on Tumblr was wondering um, how to install a, uh, a Linux distribution. He's using Ubuntu and it was already installed in his system when he got it on his netbook. So uh, what I thought I'd do is create a quick video to show people how to install uh, a Linux ISO onto a flash drive from Ubuntu 12.04. And the first thing you want to do, of course, is grab your flash drive. A 4 gigabyte size one will do, but essentially you just need one large enough to hold the entire ISO. And what you want to do, in, in this case, I'm going to install Lubuntu. And so, uh, which is of course a variant of Ubuntu, which is uh, made uh, intended for older computers or slower computers. It's great for netbooks as well. Guarantee will run better than Windows 7 Starter Edition. And what you can do is uh, select the ISO. In most cases, if your computer is newer than 2007, you'll select the PC 64-bit. Uh, um, if it's a little bit older than that, or you happen to know that it's a single core processor, 32-bit uh, will do. And um, if you're unsure, just select the PC 32-bit uh, version. So. You'll go ahead and download that. I actually already did download it. It'll take a few minutes or even longer depending on your internet connection. Now the next step you'll want to do is open up um, the disk utility program. Oops, that's full screen. Let's go ahead and select the uh, your drive. Now, this is a, um, a mounted drive, so you're going to run into a, uh, an error message when you try to format a mounted drive. It'll say the uh, drive device is busy. So what you want to do is go to Unmount Volume, Format Drive. Uh, once it says Mount Volume on there, you'll know it's ready. Make sure Master Boot Record is selected. Let's format this uh, USB drive. Okay, it's already formatted. We're going to create a partition. We're going to select uh, FAT and go ahead and give it a name. I'm just going to call it New Volume because I really don't care. I'll take a moment to do that. And then you can mount the volume. And here you go. Empty flash drive waiting for your data. So the next thing you want to do is use UnetBootin. You can get that from the software center if you don't have it. It'll ask you for your root password, so you'll need to know that. You'll select the ISO from where you uh, downloaded it. In this case, since you're logging into the program as root, you have to actually go into the root account, go into the home folder, go into your uh, username folder, and then in most cases your downloads folder will contain the ISO you just downloaded from Firefox or uh, another web browser. Go ahead and select that. Make sure your drive is your USB drive is mounted and it'll start writing to the drive. I'm going to pause the video right now because it'll actually uh, freeze up here at 33% for a couple minutes. I do want to uh, point out though that when you use this uh, UNET boot and program it'll say that it's uh, stalled at a certain percentage usually on the bootloader install which should be the um, fastest part of the installation. Most flash drives luckily have a, um, a, f a light that flashes as it's receiving data from your computer. So essentially um, when that stops flashing at a high rate of speed um, you'll know that it's done. Okay, once it's done, it will be giving you the option to reboot the computer. At this point, you'd want to reboot the computer, and then um, <laughs> if it actually does reboot your computer, um, it might, or it might just uh, close the program. In this case, I'm going to exit, and uh, if you need a tutorial on how to install uh, a distribution, I would suggest just doing a um, uh, search on YouTube for, you know, installing um, Ubuntu. Lubuntu, Ubuntu, whichever one you decide to do. Uh, but basically when you um, go through the process you're gonna uh, boot it and uh, have the USB drive in your USB uh, port. 
Uh, hit F7 if you're on a laptop but when you're on the BIOS screen and it should be a selection for um, picking your boot disk. I believe on desktops it's either delete or F1 but essentially you want to boot using your uh, USB media and then that will uh, give you a loading screen and then it will give you options to try out the distribution if it's a live CD or uh, simply to um, uh, install the application. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope this video was helpful.